I just got here and my delivery just came. Welcome back to another video. I got Dan with me right here and today we're starting off the morning. We're gonna check out another car. But before we start that, Dan got something to show you guys. Dan, what have you been doing since I've been gone at work? What's up guys? I try recording myself putting on my wheels. There it is guys. Why are you why are you walking so weird? Guys, we went hiking for eight miles. It's pretty good, but my dad my legs are dead. <laughs> Alright, and the wheels that you got? LM brother. My man's got some LMs. Tell them the spec. 19 by 9.5 plus 22. 19 by 11 plus 37. Perfect F80 specs. That's like the same spec I had on uh, when I had the M4. Dan used to have LMRs in 20 inches and I think these look a lot better, Dan. Holy moly, the silver on silver looks so good. What are you doing with the T37s? gonna track them <laughs> for you track haters thinking I'm not tracking <laughs> all right so we're gonna go head out and if you guys stick along in the video as you know I have the automatic Supra and today we might be going to the dark side we might be making the switch over so let's go let's so go guys we just got here and my delivery just came oh shit All right, Dan, we got it. We took delivery of the manual Supra. Cat's out of the bag. Like I said, we're gonna, I gotta unlock it real quick. Dude, check it out, man. Holy snap. You know, when I first bought the Supra, manual options weren't available, uh, but I really want to own the Supra. And honestly, I'm really happy with uh, the ZF8 transmission in there too, but once the manual transmission came out, I always thought about getting it because <sighs> nothing like a good old manual and it feels so notchy. I can't wait to take this thing for a test drive, but yes, we're going to go ahead and swap over all the car parts over to the Supra. They stopped the cap, bro. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is actually not my car. This is my buddy Jack's car. So if you guys watched my channel. Uh, and watched all the old videos. You guys know that I sold the kit plate before and Jack's actually the one that bought the kit plate. When I had my M4 and I parted out all my car parts, uh, he came to pick up something and he offered me so much money for this kit plate. And I took the deal and then as soon as I got home, I got sad and I ended up using what he paid me to buy to buy my kit plate. Mother sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna drive the manual Supra for the first time. I'm gonna let Jack drive my car. We're going to a Carson Coffee and I'm gonna drive his Supra. And then maybe Jack will regret his decision because the ZF8 is a better transmission. Jack, plug your channel, man. Let's do it. Yeah, it's uh, the channel's Jack Alflin. If you probably just gonna link it down below or whatever. Still awkward behind a camera, so I'm trying to get used to it. But uh, yeah, check me out. Check out his channel. I tell everybody, anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel, just pick up the camera and start. And that's exactly what Jack's doing. He's gonna be doing a full drift build. I'm doing a track build. So it's gonna be really cool to compare. I think he's actually gonna wide body it too. So if you guys are looking for more super content, click down below. Wow, Brad just showed up. The LL damn, damn. Dude, they look fresh, right? Hey man. Look at that. That was just a good one. Matching. Yeah. Yo, you whoa, chose the whoa. right color. Yeah, he had to match the Brembo brakes, bro. Had, I really like the had, blue, Dan. He had to match the Nagaro Audi. Yeah. Duh. How was the cruise What's yesterday, up, man? Dude, it was awesome. Dude, it looked awesome, it man. It was so nice. What <laughs> happened to our sunshine? I know, dude. We, we hiked nine miles yesterday. You did too? <laughs> Are you crazy? Dude, so we... I told Dan picked the place. He thought it was gonna be super, like all the snow melted, all that stuff. The last mile, we were climbing <laughs> up in the snow. In the snow, dude, like, off a cliff. We were walking on the edge. 
like about to slip yeah dude his leg was cramping because he was in gym sneakers bro he was in fly knits <laughs> i saw a video i took a video <laughs> Sticks better than them other sticks. <laughs> <laughs> my man's slipping the whole way down. <laughs> I'm scared for my life, I swear to God. Alright, so we had more friends show up. In uh, Jimmy! And we're all having a little pre meet before we go to Cars and Coffee. Just waiting on a few more, and we're gonna head out. We got Jack in the car. We're about to go cruise over. I feel like Ben today. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude how do you think of the battleships, man? Dude, they feel incredible. Could have been you. Could have been me, but dude. You picked, you picked the man. Could have been me. No, good choice, though. I know. I'm super happy with it. The only thing, all right. So the only thing, again, be careful with the wide-angle mirrors. They're pretty scary. Uh, but I trust you. And then as far as the splitter and the height, you're going to be good. If you beat it up, I don't care. You sure? Yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm scared. Of, you're pretty low, so I'm like scared. I'm gonna like scrape something. Pulling nah, you, your your M4 was way lower, so you're gonna be good, bro. Sweet. We're gonna go ahead and drive this Supra for the first time. Manual Supra. I forgot to press the clutch. Oh my gosh, I haven't driven manual in so long. I'm pretty afraid, afraid right now. First off, it feels hella notchy. Oh, I, this is already hella fun. Oh my God. This is so easy to drive. Man, I haven't driven manual in so long. If the Supra had a manual option available in the beginning, I honestly probably would have gotten, gotten the car. driving the ZF8 transmission for a while and I absolutely love that transmission and for what I'm doing my track is focused build it's perfect for what I need but driving the manual right now holy crap oh you know once you drive manual it's a whole different feeling of engagement uh, there's no doubting that at all now with DCT and automatic transmissions, um, it still does feel engaging, but there's nothing like just shifting and rowing through gears. Oh, the auto rev match is crazy. Dude, this, this feels amazing. And it's so easy to drive. I haven't driven manual in a year and a half, and I still got it, baby. I still got it. Oh, what the hell? It's literally right around the corner. We already got to cars and coffee. We're gonna pull over. I got a little, I got a little tease of it right now, but fuck. Oh man, I wanted to give it another rip. All right, me and Jack are definitely gonna have to do this afterwards. This is fucking nice. What do you do with your car, man? I got a manual now, man. <laughs> what How's it going, with, bro? What do you do with your car? I got a manual now. <laughs> nice. It was only three minutes. I really want to drive it for a lot longer, but dude, the KWs feel amazing on the car. I was like kind of juggling those or the uh, the HKS Hypermax. Yeah. But uh, I was surprised with how fast it shifted. Dude, it's just fast. Dude. And it, you can still tune the transmission too. I almost, yeah, it is. I thought it felt better than the DCTs in our M4s. Dude, it's just faster, but the downshifts aren't as aggressive as a DCT. But it happens so fast. Yeah, yeah, it happens I really, really liked fast. it. Dude, it wasn't enough time, dude. Uh -huh. I, was, I was actually trying to like, Dude. Right as, I got comfortable right as we pulled in. I was like, just started, like I was filming. I was like, I'm so pumped to be driving the car. I'm like, I finally get to talk about the coilovers I want to run and you know, my personal preference. And like right as I was really getting to the groove of it, we're like over here. I was like, oh, fuck. All right. What the? Did you text me? No, I, I met up with people up north. Oh, wow. Thomas got his own gang now. Oh, What's up, kiddos? Oh, man. What's hey. up? Ethan is Thomas's son. And this is Mason. What's dad's name? Thomas. <laughs> Our Ethan's reviews. What do you think, Ethan? There's a lot on here. There's like, <laughs> like a whole controller. You got buns and everything. Click the shifters. 
Which one? Behind here. Like this? Oh yeah. You gonna you gonna drive cool cars when you grow up? Probably. Yeah. You want dad's M3? Uh, I don't know. He could have that. And said he don't want your car. Okay, oh, start with yeah, you don't like dad's M3? I do, but like, I want to make my own car, you know? Hell yeah. Ethan, right. before you leave, out of all these, any car, pick, pick which one you like the most. Which the one, one? The one back there. Which one? Yours. The one back there. Huh? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> Out of all these up front though, which one do you pick? Uh, you gotta give me a bit. Hold on. Yeah. See that blue one right there? That really the Civic, the CTR, that's the one right there. That's your first car. No, I'm not Alright, the meat's all over. What are, we, what are we doing, Brett? We're about to go to Mexico, guys. I have my passport. Jack, you want to trade cars again? There you go, sir. Yo, it's time to drive the manual. I'm having too much fun with this thing. I'm just so excited to drive this thing again. All my cars, if you guys watch my channel, all my cars, all like six cars I've ever owned have been manual, and the Supra was my first automatic car. Just a little quick. <laughs> Say, ooh. Oh! Driver safely, bro. Ooh, that thing looks so good from this perspective. Driving a manual car again, or driving this manual Supra, really makes me want to switch. Psych! There's no chance I'm trading my Supra for the manual Supra. And this is the reason why. The Z8 transmission is super engaging. I love my steering wheel setup right now, especially with the KMP steering wheel. And the goal for the car is to be my track car. And it's gonna be more competitive keeping the ZF8 transmission, but definitely driving this car. I've been considering buying a project car in manual, doing a whole swap and driving this manual car again. It's just making me itch for a manual car. It's just a whole different experience. And another thing is the manual Supras too, because they're in, I think the 2023 models, the ECUs are gonna be locked. And like you know, back in the 2022 models and even the 2021 models, there were ECUs that are locked from the factory and you have to bench unlock them, send them over to Russia or Finland now. And that's risky and it costs a lot of money. So me, if I were to switch over, there would be a lot of money and time involved and I'm not ready to do that. And I'm very, very happy with my current setup now. All right, let's get some downshifts. Oh, so much traffic. And we've arrived to Mexico, wherever this is. There it is, little Mexico. Damn, I gotta get your impressions of driving this thing later. Dude, it's amazing. You gotta give it a rip, I love too. It. I you gotta love give it. it a rip. It's crazy how fast your car feels compared to mine. Oh, yeah. With just the tune on it. Just the, and all the dude, BM3. Dogs. That's it. Oh, you're on BM3? Just BM3. Oh, no really? custom tuning dude, yet. Dude, it feels incredible. Everybody's loving Dan's new wheel setup. Shoot or shoot. She got everybody. Let's go. <laughs> all right, while the boys are taking photos of everybody's car, oh. I want to get Jack's reaction. Ugh. Inside the Supra. Oh my god. Seatbelt on. My car looks so stock. <laughs> it oh, does, shit. bro. I don't miss that ride height at all. <laughs> all right, we're actually going to be able to drive the car now. I got Vin in the car. What's up, um, guys? You guys have pretty much just been seeing me like saying how much I love this car. It's going to be nice to actually like rip it around and drive it with him in the car. Dude, I'm excited to get your reaction, man. Dude, I'm excited. What are too. your initial reactions? Uh, I know you had a DCT. And then now you're driving the ZF8. So I really like how fast the ZF shifts. And like the DCT almost felt like 
it shifted as fast, but like for whatever reason, more aggressive. Uh -huh. um, the ZF shifts like really smooth, especially like you were saying, because I, I just brought up to you about like how the down shifts are like, they're really quick, uh -huh. but they're not like abrupt or like they don't you like- don't, You don't do the little jerk that the DCT does. Exactly, and like first and second gear super forgiving. So it's, uh, it's been, I like it more than the DCT actually. What? I, there you're about to trigger the internet, bro. Know, we'll you're cut that out. You're about to trigger the internet, we'll, we'll bro. We'll cut that out. The reason I like it is just, it feels as fast, but uh -huh. it's smoother. Oh yeah. That's why I really like it. Help put that on sport mode. <laughs> I think that's what I like about the, the ZF, is just like, it shifts so linear. Like, I love oh, the way it shifts. Dude. The whole power band, well, of course it's too, but it, it feels so, like it's so aggressive. Dude, the intake, what intake do you have on this? I got HKS, but if you're looking for the loudest, best sounding one, Arma Speed or MST. Arma Speed, dude, the HKS sound, it sounds so good, you're gonna, dude. I'll tell you, the, the HKS one is one of the more quieter ones. Really? I thought it was gonna be loud. Honestly, I was a little disappointed by it. Uh, but yeah, look, look, watch videos if you want loud MST or Arma Speed. I think Arma Speed's probably the loudest one. Dude, that 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 dude, sounds good. Dude, the B58 is like arguably one of the. It sounds so good. Way better than the S55. Way better. Way dude. better. Dude. Way better. Oh. The active auto work equal length helped a lot for the S55, but the B58 just sounds, it sounds perfect. Cannot wait till you actually start doing things and getting it all put together. Dude, I can't wait. Oh, <laughs> it sounds so, so good. good. All right, we're gonna take it for a rip this time, but hit the red line, bro. Hit the red line? Go, go all the way to seven. I'm scared, dude, I jumped dude, like a grandpa. You got it, you got it, bro. Look, I gotta find a straight then. All right. <laughs> dude, it sounds so good. It sounds so good compared to the S55, dude. It's so, oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> oh shit, dude. You set this car up so well. Oh my God, thank you, bro. All right, the question that I want you to answer though. You've had your manual for a while. You have this one. What do you think about both? And do you think you made the right decision? Diving straight into the right decision. Absolutely, I made the right decision. I uh, I think that for like what I wanted to do with the car, the Super is just such a fun car to drive around. It feels more like a like, it's so nimble and light. It's just a, like a fun little race car. I love my M4, but the Supra is just, it checked every box I wanted to and it does everything I expected it to. Like I hoped it would. Uh huh. So it's absolutely, I made the right decision. I miss my M4 a lot, but I think the Supra was like, it was the perfect car to go to next. I like, I have no complaints about my car. And the automatic is a blast. This is such a fun car to drive. Dude, it sounds so good. Oh shit. I love this car, dude. dude. It drives perfect. All right, if both cars came out at the same time, automatic and manual, I probably would have got the manual because I've never owned an automatic car before. But I'm very happy with the ZF8 transmission. And for what I'm doing, which is I want to track the car and possibly maybe down the road do some time attack, it's going to be more advantageous for me to have the ZF8 transmission. Nothing shifts faster than a computer. Go down more. One more, one more. All right, ready? Give her a rip, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck, that was. <laughs> oh shit, dude. I, I love it. That's dude. too good. The automatic shifts like instant. It's so fast, dude. What are you gonna about tuning your car though? Dude, I don't know, man. It's like everything I see about the ECUs being locked. Like it's. I was just talking to someone about this at Cars and Coffee. I was like, it's really hard to like get it tuned and like somewhere reputable. reputable. I think I'm gonna have to clone the ECU and send it out somewhere. Yep. Cause dude, too, this car feels like, the power band's completely different from my car. Dude, it's crazy. I think it's right here. This makes my car feel like a, uh, like a moped. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're back in Mexico. Hey boys. What's going on? The owner of the building pulled up. Uh-huh. And they're like, 
you guys can't be here and then he had BBS's on his Tundra uh -huh. and he's like oh I have a GT3 myself but I was like as long as you guys aren't doing donuts you guys are fine so he's in there he's there <laughs> yeah where's his GT3 I was like, you should, he's like, I should bring my car here. Yeah, he should. That's yeah, awesome. It's an Asian old guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah no donuts now. No donuts. <laughs> I got Jack, the owner, in the car too, and he's What's with up? the camera. And we're going to go do some rips because I wasn't able to do rips earlier because of traffic. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Dude, it's not tuned, but it's still so much fun. And I forget how nimble like a stock Supra feels. It actually feels really good. Holy. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely a lot slower than mine though, but Dude, it's still so much fun. It's a lot slower than yours, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude, this is too good. I don't know if you guys can see the smiles on my face, but god damn, this thing's so much fun. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> damn, <laughs> that coffee's been annoying the fuck out of me. Oh, that guy's tired. What the hell's going on with that? Oh shit. Oh, speaking of which. Is there a way you can change the super horn? Because it is oh, so dinky. I just hoped, I tried to save this guy's life, but I think my, I think the horn was too. Ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't taking me seriously. The can't be steering wheel deleted my horn. I don't have a horn. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't have a horn. Who needs a horn? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> as stock as this is, I still get the adrenaline of just shifting through gears. Holy moly, that was nice. It's surprising to me how fast the car is stock. Oh, I'm a little envious right now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna trade, but I do, I do feel some type of way driving this car. Oh man, I'm smiling too hard. They did a good job with the manuals. Oh, they, do you know, so it came out of uh, Z4, but did Toyota do something to it? Do you know? Yeah, so they, I don't remember which Z4 it came out of, but it, so what they did is Toyota pulled the tranny and then they say they like, they tuned it, but I think what that means is they just like changed the gearing and stuff yeah. and put in like different internals. Um, still and, BMW. Yes, yeah, exactly, <laughs> still BMW. Still BMW. But whatever they did, it's like the perfect gearing ratio. Like it feels incredible and it's so I just like, love how easy it is. It's so it feels so good too. Like they made a factory shifter feel like it's got a short throw in it. I like this more than my M4 and it was a manual. Compared to like M2 comps and stuff, I like this oh. a lot more. Oh yeah, I would pick this over M2. For sure. The B58 even sounds better too, but man, those new M's, the G80, G82s, I'm a fan of it now. They're sick. I, they're so sick. They're so sick. I would love a G82, but nah, I'm keeping the Supra. <laughs> man, dude. Jack, good job on this one, man. Thank you, sir. Good job on this. It's all because of you. You influenced me to get a Supra <laughs> with you building yours. Dude. You're showing out now, man. You got the manual. Everybody's not gonna like my car anymore. <laughs> that, that's the old, that's the past. The manual super is the future. It's the future for sure. <laughs> Damn, everybody loving Dan's thing. Jeez. Are you having fun? Dude, so much fun. Of course. And that street right there is so perfect. And there, I'm just constantly going through the roundabout to the roundabout, just back and forth down the line, just fucking jetting it. So much fun driving this thing. Is he paying for your gas? <laughs> Dude, he left me with no gas! <laughs> Bro, he burned all the gas out of it. Jimmy, right there. you wanna try? No. 
You don't? It's fine. You sure? I have my Accord at home. You might want to buy a manual after no, you drive it. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All right, so we're done here in Mexico. We're going to go eat some pho, and we're going to call it a day. I kind of want to go home with this car. <laughs> it's really nice. Stock. Trade for pigs. Trade for Vicks. After I put all my parts on, I'll do it for sure. No, no parts. He gets the whole package. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He said he'll do it. <laughs> and there it is, guys. I finally got to drive the manual Supra. And honestly, anybody who gets the manual Supra, good on you. But the automatic is still super fun. I'm gonna call it here. Everybody's done taking photos. We're done test driving the manual Supra. And we're gonna go eat and close out this video, baby. Let's go. Time to eat so foul, dog. Yeah, both that way. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 unsolicited ASMR. All right, we're all done for today's Cars and Coffee. It's well, nice hanging out with everybody. Physically done. We're gonna meet electronically. Yeah, yeah, disco party. Disco party. Yeah. No one wants to join us on disco, bro. Goodbye, my friend. Ow, his shoulder. Goodbye, my friend. Brett. Goodbye, Brett. sir. Brett. Goodbye, sir. Dan. Bye, sir. Give it in, bud. Give it in, bring everybody. It, <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, later, boys. Drive right, safely. Right, oh. Another good hangout with the boys. Start up this car. Woo. All right, guys and girls. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. To be honest, I am a little envious of the manual super owners being able to have the option of even buying automatic or manual. But at the end of the day, I'm super happy with my car. I'm super happy with the paddle shifters, the engagement, and one day, if anything, driving the manual super car today just gave me the itch to get back into a manual car. Not specifically the Supra, but I do want to I do want to pick up a project car where we can actually do a swap and all that stuff. And hopefully I can do it this year, if not next. But I am looking forward to doing it now. Comment down below, which would you guys rather pick? The automatic or the manual Supra? I'm super curious to know. But thank you again. Catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys all. See you guys in the next one.